Hello everyone, it's me, and this is my talk show. Today is all about confronting the issues head on, and my first guest today, Vicky, says that she wants to confront her cousin, Shalita. Welcome, Vicky. So, what's going on? Well, my great aunt passed away at the beginning of the year, and she left me a wig in her will. Well, Shalita comes over one day, pulls a scarf off her head, and starts crying how she fried her ends, and she downright begged me to let her borrow the wig for just that evening. So, ruined hair. Hello, cuz, I need a wig real quick. We've all been there. <laughs> Problem is, she never returned it. I would like to have it back not only because it was my great aunt's, but because I myself have had bad hair days too. Shalita is rude, unthoughtful, and a total bitch. <laughs> well, Shalita, come on out. We want to hear your side of this. Oh, shut up. Look, yes, I borrowed this wig. Yes, I know she is attached to it. I was going to return it, like I said. But then things kept coming up. My life has been very busy lately, and she knows this. I was just really hurt you ran off with it, and then you kept wearing it and posting photos on that Insta. It hurt. Well, I'm sorry. You can have it back as soon as I fix my hair. It's still a mess, and you know that. Vicky, will her returning the wig make everything better for you? I want it back, I do, but she's been sleeping in it, wearing it in the shower to impress her boyfriend. She thinks he's so dumb he'll believe that's her own god-given hair. Plus, I know Chastity cut a big old hunk out of it. Oh, shut up. And now that you think so low of me, I'm keeping this damn wig. Talk to the hand because the face don't want to hear it. <laughs> you are so abusive, Vicky. I can't even take you right now. Total class act. I'm taking it. Snatched your wig. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, come on. Thanks for having my back. Now the world can see my nasty burn-ins. I would never do this to you, Vicky, just like I would never tell the world you burnt your thigh trying to silk process your meow beard. <laughs> ladies, this is not about the wig. It's about hurt feelings and not dealing with them. Vicky, you could have easily said the very next day, hey, Bring my wig by, but you pushed all that down, and Shalita probably didn't even realize you were feeling this way and letting all of these feelings just build and build. <coughs> I'm sorry. I really am. I love you, girl, and I was kidding about that meow treatment. That didn't happen. <laughs> well, I love you, too. Okay, so what we are going to do is, Shalita, we are going to send you backstage and our hairstylist is going to fix your hair for you. And Vicky, you can finally take that wig home. We'll be right back. Yeah, what he said was true. You deserve so much better. Yeah, I'm sick of this sexual tension. Then prove it, Tad. Prove it. As soon as we arrest this bad guy, he's in the bank holding a bomb. Young Cops in Love, tonight at 8 p.m. Brings a new meaning to the term light a fire under your ass. Hello? Hey, baby. It's my husband. Honey, I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to film a commercial. Do you want to get real? Do you want to talk about real things with real people? Well, then clear your schedule, honey, because you and I have a date Monday through Friday. Check your local listings. Do you have a secret or confession? Are you or is someone you know in desperate need of a makeover? If you would like to be a guest on our show and lend your voice, contact now. Let your voice be heard. And welcome back. So you all remember what Shalita looked like before? Horribly burnt ends. Well, Shalita does not look like this anymore. Please welcome the new Shalita. 
I love it. It's so fresh and easy. I feel like I can do it all now. Ain't no stopping me. I am so stunned. You look so sexy, cousin. Good luck, ladies, and remember to talk things out and deal with them when they come up. And that way, you won't get back into this mess again. We'll be right back. So my husband walks in. I've got a bag of potatoes under one arm and a turkey tit under the other. He looks at me and he asks, Honey, what's for dinner? Then he says he wants pizza. So I'm like, Okay, all right, we'll compromise. You can have pizza tonight and I'll have what I want tomorrow night. A divorce. So my next guest, Larry, says as soon as he married his sexy, beautiful wife, she completely let herself go. That's right. My wife, Debbie, always put so much time and effort into her appearance. She was so sexy, and truthfully, she is, but it's like something totally changed overnight. She just started not caring at all. Well, maybe she's feeling a little overwhelmed with the responsibilities of married life. Can we put a picture on the screen? Yeah, she is very beautiful. Stunning. Always had makeup on, her hair fixed, tight clothes showing off her butt end, and her knockers were right there, like totally pulled up right there. I loved it when every man was jealous as hell that my beautiful thing was mine. <laughs> well, she's her own woman, but we do know what you mean. Debbie does not look like that anymore. Please welcome Debbie to the stage. I'm tired, and there is no need for me to be putting on makeup and fix myself up daily when all I'm doing is cooking, cleaning, washing his underwear that I do have to round up and collect from all over the floor. Debbie, that's what I was kind of thinking. You are just overwhelmed with life. Once you get married, things do kind of calm down and settle, and you get into a groove. I think you are still sex as hell, baby. I wish you could just dress up a little bit sometime so we could go out and have fun. I love being married to you. I really do, but I also miss dating you. <laughs> I guess, I'm, I, I guess I might have gotten into a rut. Yeah, I get it. Yes, you had a comment? Some women just don't care no more once they get that ring. Bye-bye bra, bye-bye sex pot, hello couch potato. <laughs> if she doesn't want to put on makeup for you, then I would be more than happy to leave my lipstick stains on your... Okay, sorry to cut you off, but this is daytime, not Skinamax. <laughs> She's got nothing on me anyways. I cook, I clean, and yes, even though I did let myself go, I can still hoot and holler in the bedroom. And when I'm done with him, he's swinging from the chandelier in desperate need of a cigarette. <laughs> well, we are going to give you a makeover today and then send you and Larry out for dinner on us. We'll be right back. Do you have questions about your future, your love life, the state of a current situation? Do you want to know why no one comes to your birthday party? Then give me a call. It's only $3.99 a minute. You can't afford not to pick up that phone. I've been waiting for you. What if I told you there was a cereal that was twice as nutritious and twice as delicious? One bite of this and it will have you saying, oh snap. Try oh snap and start your morning off right. You're gonna love it, honey. Cereal's cool, you're gonna love it. Cereal, uh-huh, you're gonna love it. Ooh, yeah. So, this is what Debbie looked like before. She said she was tired, and we all agree she did look tired, and not to mention her roots were as dark as hell. Please welcome the new Debbie. Oh, my, my, my. Baby, oh my god, baby, I don't believe this beautiful transformation. Holy heck. 
Oh, I love, I keep, I'm keeping this look. Thank you all so much. I feel like a new woman. I got my baby back. <laughs> well, that's all the time that we have for today. I would like to thank my guests and as always, you at home. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when Chef Kathy Ann is going to be showing us how to make gourmet popcorn. It's going to be good and it might just be a weird world today. The Talk Show. Goodbye, everybody. Da -da -da -da.